What's up, COD Nation? My name is Greybeard Gamer, bringing you my first video on Infinite Warfare. Um, the game's been out about two weeks, and I wanted to kind of get some playtime and get used to it. So, this is going to be uh, the good and the bad video. Essentially, it's a review of Infinite Warfare, the things that are good and the things that are shit, pretty much. So, let's start with the good. The movement system is, is really good. It, they've taken um, what Black Ops 3 had and they've improved on it. It's very smooth. It feels natural. And I just think um, if you enjoyed the movement system in Black Ops 3, you're going to enjoy this movement system even more. It's, it's really nice. I, I like using it. Um, the kill streaks are pretty good. They're not overpowered. Um, a lot of times, especially like in Black Ops 3, you would see a lot of uh, V-Sats in the air and a lot of heavy kill streaks. You don't see that in this in this particular uh, Call of Duty because people die so quickly. Um, so um, kill streaks aren't too bad. Although there is, I do have an issue with UAVs, but I'll go over that in a minute. And that brings me to the last good thing is matchmaking. In Black Ops 3, it seemed like uh, anytime you I uh, got on your console, you were being thrown in a lobby where you were losing 150 to 4 or some shit like that. It's not that way in, the, in this particular Call of Duty. Um, I haven't been thrown in a lot of lopsided matches. It's not too bad at all. So um, that's one thing I really enjoy about it because that was a big frustration for me when I was playing uh, Black Ops 3. Alright, now we're going to talk about the bad. And the bad... If, if you're a Call of Duty, um, if you're a diehard Call of Duty fan, you're probably not going to like Infinite Warfare. Um, let's start with my biggest pet peeve and the thing that pisses me off most. Time to kill. Time to kill is ridiculously inconsistent. It is garbage. Um, some matches like this one, time to kill seems pretty consistent and I'm able to do okay. And then you have other times where you'll empty a magazine into your opponent. They'll turn around and shoot you what seems like two times, and, and that'll be that. And there is a whole lot of shoot first, die first shit in this game. I, unbelievably so. It was, my biggest frustration when I first start playing this in the first two weeks is how it's impossible to get any kind of flow going because you can draw down on somebody shoot them and they can turn around and kill you while you're emptying a magazine into them. It's, it's unfucking believable It frustrates me. I don't know if it's lag compensation. I'm not a techie guy, but it seems like um, that that may be what it is because it's ridiculous. It's to the point where um, I've had to turn the game off a few times because I just couldn't couldn't believe it. So if you're used to that, if you're used to Black Ops 3 time to kill you put that shit in your pocket because that's gone it's not it's not in this game all right uh, maps they suck the, there's no flow to them um, and you will constantly be shot in the back and constantly be getting flanked and you'll find yourself surrounded by the enemies more often than not so um, in the beta terminal man I love that map in, in the beta it was really nice I like playing it it was it seemed like it had a nice flow to it um, and it was refreshing to play an older older Call of Duty map that had been updated with so it was more movement friendly for this Call of Duty but th that's pretty much it um, everything else is just garbage there's that, that three lanes three running lanes you can forget that it's it's gone too um, third specialist they might as well not have them in the game they have zero impact I mean they look cool, I guess, and you know you can customize them and do all that stuff if you get their uh, customizable um, helmets or body armor or whatever out of out of uh, supply drops or you unlock them somehow. But honestly, it's they're irrelevant in this game to me. They have zero impact on a match. At least in Black Ops 3, you could choose your specialist based on the game type that you were playing. And you, you knew that you at some point were going to have an impact. You might knock somebody off B if you're playing Domination. You might clear out B. And you knew if you cleared off B with um, one of the specialists, you were probably going to get 
uh, your kill streaks. They're going to stack pretty quickly. But this is absolutely irrelevant in this game. It's unbelievable. I'm very disappointed in that. And the last piss poor thing, in my opinion, is the UAV. There are so many UAVs in this game, and I don't just mean the the score streak UAV. You have the score streak UAVs. You have a specialist that has a ping or something that has a UAV. I actually have two specialists that have some kind of mini UAV or personal UAV. Um, and you also have, uh, I, th I guess I don't know. I hadn't heard anybody talk about it, but it seems like there's a UAV. Uh, after you spawn so for for a moment there after you spawn so I don't know guys but anyway overall I think this game shit they're gonna have to do a lot of things to it to improve it to improve it um, but I'm gonna keep playing and hope they do anyway my name is Greybeard Gamer and I'm out